I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, y'all, I'm bringing back the natural hair content. I know you guys have missed the natural hair content, but me and my hair, we just weren't getting along, and I didn't want to deal with it, so I put it up for a long time. But now, it's healthier. I can deal with it. I'm happy with it. So, we're back to the natural hair content. I won't say that I won't be getting braids, or I won't be getting wigs, because if I said that, I would be lying to you. <laughs> but, you know, while my hair is out, I will be bringing you guys natural hair content. So, today, we're going to be doing a wash and go on old dirty hair. Now, I had braids in. if you follow me on anything instagram if you've been watching my past videos i have had braids in so i didn't wash my hair after i took those braids out because they were large braids they weren't that bad so i didn't wash my hair and i didn't feel like washing my hair and i still don't feel like washing my hair <laughs> That's a whole day process I'm just not mentally ready for right now. So I'm not washing but it. I do want to show you guys that you can do a wash and go on dirty hair and it still looks good. And it's not dirty hair. It's just old hair, you know. Like, I usually wash my hair every week. But I haven't washed my hair in maybe three weeks. So, yeah. That's what I mean by old dirty hair. It's not necessarily dirty, but it's old because I haven't washed it in three weeks so i just want to show you guys that you can achieve the wash and go a really bum wash and go on old hair so let's get straight into this video first thing i'm going to do is just saturate my hair all over and try to part my hair into sections so in this water bottle i have aloe vera juice and water the number one reason i use aloe vera juice is because it thickens my hair before when, right before i cut my hair my hair was like thin but once I started using aloe vera juice, you can actually see like when it started growing back, it was way thicker than the rest of my hair. So I really like that about aloe vera juice. It also helps grow your hair. Y'all, my hair has grown so much since I cut it. Like the shrinkage is real, but my hair has grown very much since using aloe vera juice. Another good thing that the aloe vera juice does for your hair is it strengthens your hair. So if your hair is weak and brittle, try using aloe vera juice or maybe aloe vera gel on your hair to better strengthen your hair. It also adds shine to your hair and can work as a natural conditioner. Okay, now that my hair is all wet, I'm gonna go in and part it. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you guys the order I like to go in for my wash and goes. I like to saturate my hair, saturate my hair with the aloe vera juice and water. Then I like to go in with a little Texture ID styling cream. I love Texture ID, okay? But I don't use a lot when doing my wash and goes. If this was a fresh wash and go, I will use a lot. But since I'm using it on old hair and it's already product in my hair, I won't be using a whole lot of Texture ID. Then I like to go in with my Unjackies Don't Shrink Styling Gel. Now during this whole process, I probably use the most of Unjackies. Way more than I do the Texture ID. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna spray my hair with the water now that that section is detangled i'm going to go in with my texture id i'm only going to use about this much for this little section not much at all Okay, maybe a little more. <laughs> and I just want to work that in really good. Work it all the way in. Make sure I get each strand. Now that I have the texture ID on there, I'm going to go in with my unjackies. A lot more. Unjackies. A lot more. I'm also diffusing my hair and stretching it today. So using Unjackies really helps with the amount of heat that I have to use on my hair while stretching it. I don't have to use as much heat.
and you just want to make sure you coat every strand from root to tip from root to tip all the way from your roots to your ends really get those curls defined so this is how my curls are looking right now super defined and that's all I do to each section now I'm going to move on to the second part of this section Okay, y'all, so I finished the whole section, and this is what we're looking like. Much better than what we were seeing when I first got on camera. Look at them curls. Look at these curls. They bouncing and stuff. They don't move right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to the next section. So I finished the whole back section. I'm gonna show you guys how it's looking. Curls, definition, come on. That's what you really want with the wash and go. You want hydrated definition. Quick and easy hydrated definition. Clearly we're hydrated. Clearly we're defined, okay? So now let's move on to the top section and then I'm going to diffuse my hair. Okay, y'all, so I've gotten my hair all washed and goed. <laughs> gotten all the product in. Curls are defined. I'm telling y'all, these two products, these two products are my favorite. And of course, when I'm all finished and all done, I'm gonna end it off with some oil. But now I'm gonna get into diffusing my hair. And I'm just gonna diffuse it all over and then I'm gonna stretch the actual section. okay now that my hair is all diffused i'm going to put a side part here because i like to wear a side part and then i'm just going to stretch it in the shape that i want it to be
So now that I have my hair shaped the way that I want it, I'm just going to lay my edges, pick it out a little bit, and then we're going to be done. So I'll be right back when I'm all finished. Okay, y'all. So this is how my hair turned out. Just lay my edges a little bit. Added this glosser at the end for shine and to seal in the moisture. And this is what we have. A wash and go on old hair. And girl, you can't even tell. You in my business? Don't do that. <laughs> You can't even tell that this is old hair. It's flowy, bouncy. Look, it's shit. my car got full and I forgot what I was saying before that happened, but this is the finished look. <laughs> Nonetheless, this is the finished look. I'm really proud of how it came out. Give y'all like a closer view of this hair. It looks really good. I'm so proud of my hair. Y'all, my hair was trash. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm gonna link the videos up below, but my hair was trash, okay? But I'm just so proud of how it has grown and gotten healthier. And I really have to give it to this aloe vera juice, okay? When I'm refreshing my hair in the morning, at night, anytime, I'm using my aloe vera water and juice. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you like how it came out. Comment anything down below. Post notification shout out goes to Gabrielle Hector on YouTube. Make sure you guys go check her out. Thank you girls so much for watching my channel. Thank you for being the first to comment on my last video. If you want to post notification shout out like her, all you have to do is hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below anything on my videos. And you could be the next one to get a post notification shout out. That's all I have for you guys. May your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here. <laughs>